quick test ride of uh, the Royal Enfield uh, Meteor so as you guys know that uh, I had booked the 350 Hunter last week right so so as in when uh, you know I'm yet to take the test ride of the Hunter but uh, uh, somewhere I feel that uh, probably I should uh, consider uh, classic so with that uh, thought I thought I'll take a test ride of uh, the Meteor, Classic and Hunter all back to back and then uh, make the decision So just taking the back road because this, there was a huge uh, pile uh, of traffic jam on the other side. <coughs> this one I would say is a sort of a balance between uh, the classic and Thunderbird. This one feels more of a uh, a thunderbird kind of stance right but with a lower handle so and i think it's going to be a comfortable uh, long term cruiser or a long distance cruiser uh, as compared to the classic which is going to be uh, you know more uh, in terms of uh, retro looks and uh, the swag uh, factor which is there in the classic uh, would never be there in the meteor so with that uh, let me go back to the showroom and uh, take a short spin on the classic and see what my impressions are on this back to back test rides all right trying out the classic now so taking a short ride to see uh, how things feel of course with a pillion uh, my daughter is sitting behind so just making sure uh, the pillion comfort as well uh, before taking that call Classic uh, definitely feels uh, heavier on the steering side, certainly, without no two ways about it. And Meteor was slightly lighter and Hunter was even more lighter uh, in terms of handling on the uh, steering side of things. So yeah, classic uh, seating stance etc, really commanding and uh, the feel uh, closest to uh, a classic uh, or a retro bike is uh, very very uh, close when you look at uh, classic as a model in the entire lineup. And the suspension also feels a uh, bit more uh, dampening, uh, well dampening because I think it's more got to do with the way it is set up and also, uh, you know, with uh, also the reason for the suspension to be uh, more uh, supple and soft uh, is due to the weight of the vehicle itself because this is about uh, close to 15 kilos heavier than the Hunter is what I'm told.
all right so we're back to the showroom next is going to be the hunter so yeah i took her uh, on the pillion and she says uh, that uh, probably a backrest would help uh, to lean onto it and get some support so that was one observation and uh, secondly as you can see she's about five uh, one five two at this point or uh, i think just barely five feet five five one and uh, this is how uh, uh, she's able to touch the f touch the ground almost uh, tiptoe right both the sides so i think uh, it might take about uh, say uh, uh, one or couple of years for her to you know gain additional inches uh, in terms of height and then get comfortable but i think this one uh, was the one this hunter was the one where she was able to reach the ground uh, uh, at the most comfortable level right so classic and uh, meteor was even more tiptoe but this one i think uh, is a bit uh, comfortable side so let's hear the bike out uh, let's start the bike and hear the bike how it sounds clear and throaty exhaust I could hear this exhaust even uh, when I was riding uh, the bike and uh, thump was very very evident unlike uh, the meteor where it is totally muffled and uh, classic I could feel the beat a bit because of the long exhaust but in this it's more prominent and more pronounced so yes my friend so I'm going to discuss uh, <laughs> and uh, do some deliberation think more about this and see if i really want to go with the hunter or go with the classic riding it on the bad patches as many of you heard that the ground clearance of this bike is just 150 uh, mm and uh, trust me uh, it has not bothered or got bothered with any of those uh, speed bumps so far absolutely nothing nothing bothers it so i think it's well taken care uh, with the 20 mm reduced uh, wheel base this is going to be a very good uh, machine to putter around in the city Very agile. So we are on the classic uh, at this point, uh, and uh, I think uh, the tiptoe situation continues here. But uh, uh, it was a lot better in the meteor, uh, in the hunter where I think uh, she found the bike to be lighter and easy to maneuver. So I think among the, amongst the youngsters, I think uh, which is where the audience is for the hunter, which is rightly positioned, I think uh, that's what seems to be the logical choice so far. But I think uh, my heart is still with uh, the classic for its timeless looks and uh, uh, laid back character, right? So that's what it is. So we're back uh, into the showroom. So trying to uh, trying to make her sit on the bike and see uh, what she feels. So do you feel uh, you are able to reach the uh, floor? Do you feel the bike is lighter? Okay. Handlebar position. Is it comfortable? Okay. So seems to be uh, Hunter is going to be the logical choice here. So, but I am still in two minds in terms of Hunter and Classic, but I think I have ruled, been able to rule out the Meteor. Uh, so it's between Hunter and Classic at this point. So Classic for its, uh, you know, uh, laid back uh, stance where you just sit behind and just keep going slowly, thumping. But this one for its, uh, you know, quick uh, uh, lane changes, 
quick uh, shifts uh, on the highway uh, on the in the city riding roads to putter around in the by lanes i think this is the bike all right friends so uh, my daughter was able to sit on all the three bikes uh, she doesn't ride as yet but she was able to sit on all the bikes and try out all the bikes that is meteor classic and then hunter so let's hear from her uh, what she feels so you sat on all the three bikes uh, so what did you feel about the first one you sat on meteor uh, it was almost the same as classic but it was a lot heavier and a bit hard for me to manage mm. that's why i didn't like it as much as the classic or the okay what about the classic you sat on that black classic also right why you didn't like that i did like it but uh, i just think this is one of my first time riding i want to get like a lightweight bike so i can manage it easier that one i liked a lot but it was a bit heavier for me hmm. and i couldn't pick it up on my own that's why i didn't get it okay okay so yes my friend so it looks to be a hunter all the way at this point so yes i did confirm to the to my uh, sales person mani who is there right there so mani is there so he is waving at us so if you come by uh, agara so definitely drop by and say hi to mani so very nice gentleman hello mani so guys if you come by agara uh, royal enfield showroom technique so mani is here so he will be able to be more than happy to help you guys and uh, explain about the bike and i really felt that uh, he was a, in quite knowledgeable and uh, uh, was taking keen interest in customers so thank you mani for all the time today yes. thank you yes. so yes my friend so it looks to be uh, 99.9% hunter at this point because the rider uh, herself feels that hunter is the way to go but uh, in terms of accessories uh, i am uh, knocking off this uh, uh, windscreen because i think it doesn't go with overall uh, looks and aesthetic of the bike at this point but certainly going with this uh, bash plate to protect uh, the engine uh, from the gravel and uh, splinters from the road and uh, going with the big uh, large uh, crash bar for the protection of engine and the rider uh, knees and uh, additionally going in for uh, the royal enfield uh, standard uh, backrest which i think is going to be very useful when uh, she can sit there can you sit and show there so uh, she felt that uh, there could have been a backrest which she can lean on right so i think uh, backrest is going to be definitely a good add on so ultimately i think uh, looking at uh, you know next 1 2 3 4 years so yes so finalizing the hunter going with the dapper white uh, with the accessories what i told you so that's what it is at this point so thank you for uh, staying in staying tuned and uh, um, do let us know your thoughts uh, very keen to hear the feedback thank you